In this video, we're going to discuss the concept of interpolation, specifically to find your exact T critical value when having to use a, um, a T table. So imagine a hypothetical scenario where you need to find the exact T critical score with a sample size of 47 people at a 95% confidence level. And the question's nice enough to tell us that we're working with a two-tailed test. So let's just visualize this for a second. So we have our T distribution, right? We'll just call this our T distribution. And what we're looking for is our critical T score um, with a sample size of 47 people at a 95% confidence level. So we're looking for the T score that's associated with this where we have 0 0.025 in the right tail and 0 0.025 in the left tail. And what we're looking for is our T star value that's associated <clears throat> with uh, T at 46 degrees of freedom, right? So T at N minus one is equal to T at 47 minus one, which is equal to T at 46 degrees of freedom. So we're looking up our T at 46 degrees of freedom, but when we look at our T chart, well, we look for, first we look for our cumulative probability and we're looking at one tail or two. Well, we're looking at two tails at 95%. So that would mean that in each tail we have 0 0.025. So that's great. Now we can look down our T sheet here. And what do we notice? Well, we don't see 47 degrees of freedom, right? Instead, what do we see? Well, we see 40 degrees of freedom and 60 degrees of freedom, but that's not exactly right for what we're looking for in the first place. So <clears throat> we're gonna have to use some uh, interpolation here in order to estimate our value. So the values that we have are at 40 and 60 degrees of freedom are those values right there at our 95% two-tailed confidence interval. So we get 2.021 at 40 degrees of freedom and T is equal to 2.00 at 60 degrees of freedom. So let's go back to our sheet and we'll just write T at 40 degrees of freedom is equal to 2.021. We'll say 40 degrees of freedom and 0 0.025 is equal to 2.0, sorry, I forgot the value, 0 0.021, 0 0.021, and T at 60 degrees of freedom with 0 0.025 in the tail is equal to 2.00. So what we know is that T at 46 degrees of freedom is going to occur somewhere between these two values, right? But somewhere between T at 40 degrees of freedom and T at 60 degrees of freedom will be T at 46 degrees of freedom. And this is where we're going to use interpolation to come up with our estimate. So here's our calculation for our interpolation. So Y1, minus, sorry, Y minus Y1 is equal to Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1 times x minus x1. So we'll just let uh, our y's equal our t scores and our x equal our degrees of freedom. So what we're looking for here is t at 46 degrees of freedom minus t at 40 degrees of freedom is equal to t at 80 degrees of freedom minus t at 40 degrees of freedom divided by 80 degrees of freedom minus 40 degrees of freedom times 47 degrees of freedom minus 40 degrees of freedom. Okay, that is how we're going to operationalize this equation. So we don't know T at 46, so T at 46 minus T at 40, which is 2.021 is equal to 2.000 minus 2.021 divided by 40. 
I should probably make this a little bit neater so that we can fit everything in. Times 47 minus 40, so times 7. So, <clears throat> T at 46 degrees of freedom minus 2.021 is equal to 2 minus 2.021 gives us negative 0.021 divided by 40 times 7. So negative 0.021 divided by 40 gives us negative 0.000525 times 7, which so then T at 46 degrees of freedom minus 2.021 is equal to negative 0.021. 003675. We'll rearrange this equation to get t at 46 degrees of freedom by itself. So negative 0 0.003675 plus 2.021 plus 2.021 gives us t at 46 degrees of freedom at 0 0.025 in each tail to be 2.017325, okay? Or if we want to round to three decimal points, we'll just say T at 46 equal to 0 0.025, which is equal to 2.017, right? So as we suspected, if T at 40 was 0 0.025 was equal to 2.021. T at 46, 0 0.025 was equal to 2.017. And T at 80 was equal to 0 0.025 was equal to 2.0. 0, 0, 0. As we can see, this is exactly as we expected. So um, the T critical value at T at 40 degrees of freedom is greater than, so T at 40 is greater than T at 46, which is greater than T at 80. So this is a way that you can use to estimate or, or to find your uh, T critical with a specified number of degrees of freedom. If it's not on your T table, oftentimes you can just use the conservative estimate and round down, or you can use computation. But if you had to do this by hand and you needed the exact T critical value, you could just use this method here, which is known as interpolation. That's it for this video. But if you found that it helped to make statistics easy, consider showing your support by giving the video a like. And if you still need more help with statistics, then consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I look forward to solving many more problems with you next time.